Hi, uh, my name is Lisa Feld. I am the web content editor for the Jewish Women's Archive. Uh, on August 22nd, 1893, Dorothy Parker was born. Um, she's mostly known for her devastating wit. Uh, as a teenager, she became a staff writer for Vanity Fair, and by 1918, uh, at age 25, she was their drama critic um, and wrote absolutely scathing reviews of Broadway plays. Uh, and was one of the key members of the Algonquin Roundtable of um, celebrities, intellectuals, writers, uh, artists, um, where she became known for her devastating critiques and bon mots, uh, and for her poetry and her short stories. Um, but the thing about someone who's got that kind of razor wit is it only has an impact if there are things that they actually care about under the cynicism. And the more I found out about Dorothy Parker, the more astonished I was by how often she would go to the mat for things that she really believed in. Uh, she was arrested for um, protesting an unfair trial uh, um, of uh, two Italian immigrants who had been uh, judged unfairly for a crime. Um, she went to Spain to oppose Franco in the Spanish Civil War and was blacklisted um, for protesting um, uh, McCarthyism in Hollywood. Uh, and when she died, she left her intellectual property rights to the National Association for uh, the Advancement of Colored People, the NAACP. Um, and to this day, they still benefit from her estate. Um, and it just astounded me that we think of her as someone who is very um, uh, removed and, and sort of above it all. But the truth is that the wit comes from being down in the trenches.